Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, May the 25th, 2016. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Israel Beitenu leader Avigdor Lieberman signed a coalition agreement this morning. This follows late night meetings last night on Lieberman's conditions to join the government, including increased pension funds for new immigrants. Netanyahu said this morning upon the signing, I welcome Avigdor Lieberman and his faction members as important partners to the coalition, adding that it was no secret that the two had had disagreements in the past. Netanyahu said sometimes in the heat of the argument, things were said by both of us that should not have been said. Now, the prime minister said, we join hands to help Israel march forward. The prime minister also reaffirmed his stand on peace efforts, saying my government remains committed to pursuing peace with the Palestinians and with all our neighbors. My policy has not changed. We will pursue every avenue for peace while ensuring the safety and security of our citizens. Lieberman, who is known as a hardliner on the right, echoed Netanyahu's remarks, saying he too was committed to peace and to a final status agreement and to understanding between us and our neighbors. Lieberman will reportedly be sworn in as Israel's next minister of defense at the next meeting of the Knesset, likely sometime early next week. Two Palestinian men deliberately drove their vehicle into an IDF checkpoint in the West Bank this morning. The incident took place near the Jewish settlement of Oranit. After ramming the checkpoint, the two tried to flee the scene. One of them was quickly caught by Israeli security forces and Israeli security forces were still searching for the second man. No Israeli troops were harmed during the incident. An American-born IDF soldier was recognized for his heroic actions this week. Staff Sergeant in Reserve Sachar Elbaz of the Givati Brigade received the Sylvan Adams Nefesh Benefesh Bonet Sion Prize on Monday at the Knesset. Awarded to outstanding Anglo Olim, or new immigrants, for their contribution to the state of Israel. The prize is worth $10,000. It was awarded in the IDF and National Service Young Leadership Award category of the Bonet Sion Prize. Elbaz is originally from California. He immigrated to Israel in 2012 to join the IDF just before his 18th birthday. In the Gaza War of 2014, Elbaz courageously protected his fellow soldiers who had come under attack by Hamas terrorists at great personal risk to his own life. Other new immigrants who were honored at the Knesset Monday include professor at the Department of Developmental Biology and Cancer Research at Hebrew University Howard Cedar, the founder and director of the Aguna and Get Refusal Prevention Project at the International Young Israel Movement and the Jewish Agency for Israel, Dr. Rachel Levmore, whose organization works to prevent the refusal of a Get or Jewish divorce, also founder of the pluralist Tali school system, Barbara Levin. In addition, a Lifetime Achievement Award was given to former Israeli Foreign Minister Moshe Ahrens, who also served as Israel's Defense Minister and Israeli Ambassador to the United States. Ahrens made Aliyah from the U.S. to Israel in 1948. Long Island unanimously passed a law on Monday that bars the county from doing business with companies who are boycotting Israel. The bill was spearheaded by County Legislator Howard Coppell, who said it is imperative that as a county we demonstrate to other governments the importance of fighting against all practices of hatred and discrimination. State legislators introduced a similar bill last fall that prohibits New York State from doing business with companies engaged in the BDS movement, boycott, divestment and sanctions, which seeks to delegitimize the state of Israel. Israel's mission to the United Nations and the World Jewish Congress will co-host a special conference at the end of this month to call attention to the BDS campaign. The conference will take place at UN headquarters in New York City on May the 31st. With the attendance of ambassadors from around the world, as well as thousands of students, dignitaries and public officials. World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauder said that he hoped that the conference, which is called Building Bridges, Not Boycotts, would help give the next generation the tools to fight anti-Israel and anti-Semitic sentiments. Lauder said the anti-Israel narrative on campuses 
and in diplomatic halls has spun out of control and has proven itself to be part and parcel with an anti-Semitic agenda aimed at delegitimizing the Jewish state and its right to exist. Lauder said our enemies have tried to defeat us militarily and economically, and they have failed. Now they are trying to defeat us politically. And although they may think that this time they are winning, we will not stop fighting until they fail. Jewish American reggae musician Matis Yahu will also perform at the conference, which is being held in coordination with Karen Hayesod, the American Center for Law and Justice, the Anti-Defamation League, the Zionist Organization of America, Israel Bonds, Stand With Us, B'nai B'rith International, Hillel, and Camera, among other organizations. And looking now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, May the 25th, at 7.30, it's the Upper West Side Spelling Bee. At 8, a discussion of the root causes of contemporary anti-Semitism and the failures of the Jewish home and community to address the problem. That is with Professor Deborah Lipstadt, Jonathan Tobin, Mark Weitzman, Daniel Guadalupe, and moderator Rabbi Joe Potasnik from Kane University's Conference on Global Anti-Semitism. At 9 o'clock, career diplomat and advisor on Israeli foreign policy, Ambassador retired Yoram Ettinger, talks about the mistakes made by the American administration and by American Jewry regarding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. At 10 o'clock, it's the Interfaith Landmarks Program with Rabbi Arthur Schneier. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, May the 25th, 2016. I'm Tisha Bader. Thank you